Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to create this realistic product 3D just with simple 2D shapes inside the Adobe Illustrator. Illustrator 3D and material gives you a very realistic material and lighting simulation. And I am sure you will learn some very useful tricks on how to make 3D objects inside Adobe Illustrator from this video. Let's begin. Let's create a rectangle. iPhone is almost 1 is to 2 ratio, so adjust the height and the width. Make it a rounded corner. Let's add the camera shape. Create a square. Add two big circles and two small circles. Now let's create the front part. Copy this rectangle. The front part has actually a small offset. So go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Let's say minus 15 pixels. So this will offset inside. Let's change the color. Okay, now let's add the top microphone area. Okay, add the shape. And cut it off. Now let's add an Apple logo to the back side. I have this Apple logo, so let me simply scale it and position it. Let's scale this whole thing a little bit. Now adjust the corner radius to match with the main radius. Now 2D part is over. Now let's do the 3D part. Go to window and 3D and materials. This will bring this tab. Okay, now select the shape. Go to the object tab and click extrude. Give the thickness, let's say 70. You need to create edge profile. So click bevel. Click the bevel shape options drop down menu. There are options. Let's select the square outline, make the width as 2% and height is ok for this shape. Now select the Apple logo. This time let's do a plain extrusion. Now position it. Now select the camera shape and click extrude and play with the settings. Same goes for the circles, the extrude, bevel and play with the width settings. Reposition these. Now that's done. Now let's add materials. There are a lot of materials. Scroll down, you will find the default materials. Now to get a metallic effect, Play with the roughness and metallic values. Do the same thing for the other shapes as well. Now let's adjust lighting. Go to the lighting tab. There are a lot of lighting options. Let's select the right lighting and play with the intensity and so on. Now come back and adjust the material to match with the lighting until you are happy with it. Now for the Apple logo, let's add some metallic materials. Select this and under the settings, increase the repeat. And play with the pattern density and so on. Basically, you need to look for the technical parameters. So, adjust the luminosity and contrast and hue shift. Hue shift will help you when you are playing with colors. Just on a side note, if you want to know how to create a realistic 3D chocolate, please watch my other video. 
I will leave a link in the description and add a video card at the end of this video. Adjust the settings until you are happy with it. Now select it and group it. Now let's do the front part. Select the base shape, extrude, select the screen shape and give it as 2. Now make the base shape as white. Now select the object and turn on the bevel and select the square outline and give the width as 2. And make the color as black. Same for the base shape as well. Now for this screen let's add some colors. So I have this as an image. So let's trace these colors. So to do that, go to window and image trace. This will open up this window. Now there are a lot of settings here for colors, black and white and so on. For this exercise, let's select the auto color. It actually picks up the major color according to the settings and and it gives you a path out of it. Now adjust the path and the corners. Now untick the preview and click trace. Now the color got traced. Now select the shape, go to object and click expand. Now select the object and right click and ungroup. Do it one more time. You see the colors are separated as the shapes now. Now let's add this as a symbol. Go to window, click symbols. This will bring this window. Now simply drag this on here. It has created this symbol now. Now drag the shape to the artboard. Now scale it as you like. So now what we will do, let's select the black screen and the color. Now right click and create clipping mask. See now it has clipped to the screen shape. Now do the same thing, extrude and adjust the height and position and position it. Play with the materials and lighting, intensity, height and so on. Now group them and arrange it to front. So now front and back are done. Now let's duplicate the back and create a series of colors. So simply change the color, rotate it, play with the materials, lighting and so on. That will give you one more variation of the same product. Do it one more copy and adjust the color. Maybe let, let's make it this time red. or maybe some material. Okay, go to the material tab, select this material. And play with the material settings like luminosity, con contrast and so on. And now come back to the repeat pattern and play with this repeat values. Now adjust the lighting as well. Maybe for this uh, this one, maybe let's modify this yellow color and its lighting values. Play with the light intensity, rotation, height and so on.
Maybe let's make it as a red color. Yeah, this looks nice. Now let's do one more thing. Let's do a product box. Create a rectangle and go to 3D and extrude. Now click here isometric top. Position it. Now click the bevel and make it as a round shape this time. Play with the width and the height that gives you a soft rounded edge. Now change the color to white. Now let's add the screen on the top of the box. Now let's duplicate this, scale it and adjust the extrusion. Or let's do this. Go to symbols and drag the screen which we have created. Now draw a rectangle on top of this and select the both of them and make it as a clip, clipping mask. Now make it as a 3D and position it. Now let's add an Apple logo, copy this and change the orientation and position. That's it. Now let's add an iPhone text, create a text. And make a 3D plane. And change the orientation and position. Group them and duplicate it. And keep one more at the end so that it looks more balanced. Play with the graphical positioning, I will leave it up to you. Wonderful. See, with these very basic shapes, we created an entire product series. This illustrated 3D and material is a big game changer. That's it for now guys. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would give me a motivation to do more videos. And if you specifically want to know any trick, kindly do let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to make a video for you.